Here's the briefest history of mentor you will ever get. And if you want me to go into more detail on any of this, let me know. Moving into 1900s, tailoring was very stiff and very long. You'd see a lot of three-piece suits, sack coats, and very, very high collars. In the 20s, style became more relaxed after World War I. Companies started using softer fabrics, looser silhouettes, and took a lot of shoulder structure out. In the 1930s, people looked to Hollywood and the stars such as Fred Astaire and Clark Gable for their style. Post-World War II, we saw a huge rise in casual wear, but that doesn't mean there wasn't some crazy good tailoring and a high demand for it. 1950s was a time of conformity and people really dressing for the business world. Ivy League style was also coming in fashion, and if you guys don't know this photo from the 50s, you gotta because it's one of my favorites of all time. 60s was a time of rebellion and moving away from the rule book. 70s disco funk and hippie fashion was on the rise and polyester was everywhere. Then we have 80s power dressing, big shoulders, bold colors, and of course the contrast collar shirt. In the 90s, we saw a lot of baggy business casual. Early 2000s, we saw a lot of this super slim European tailoring hitting the States. And now we're living in a time of nostalgia where people are mixing all these decades together. 